What's up guys, I'm Rasim from RossmoreTech.com and this is another tutorial in Java programming. Now in this class I'm going to show you guys how to use the do while loop, so let's get started. Now I showed you guys how to use the while loop in my last tutorial. Now the only difference is between the two, the do while loop starts the statement first, it'll execute the statement first, and I'll show you how that works in a second. Let's first declare our a variable. I'm going to call my variable red and it's going to have an integer data type. Let's make our variable equal to 5 and that would a semicolon. Now we're going to start the do while loop statement. Now we're going to type in do, hit space, open and close curly brace, right? Now we're going to type in while, hit space, open and close parentheses, and the way semicolon. Now in between this open and close curly brace here, we're going to hit enter a few times. Now this is the structure where we do while loop here. Again, in between this open and close curly brace is where the statement's going to be executed, and that's going to go first. So let's uh, give it a statement. Let's type in s y s t e m dot out dot print ln open and close parentheses and the way semicolon. This is a system that uh, that print ln statement here. In between open and close parentheses, we're gonna have a set of double quotes. In between the set of double quotes, we're gonna type in yes. Now underneath this statement, we're gonna type in another statement. We're gonna say red plus plus and then with a semicolon. This is incrementing the variable red by one. So it's gonna first print yes, right? Then it's gonna increment that variable red by one. Then it's gonna test for conditions. So again, the only difference between the two, the do while loop will uh, execute statements first, then execute conditions. And the while loop works the other way around. Now down here, we gotta give it some conditions to test. In between this open and close parentheses, we're gonna type in our variable red, hit space, and type in less than symbol, hit space, and let's say 10, right? Because we want our loop to go 10 times. And actually, let's make our variable red equal zero. Now, let's hit play and see what happens. And as you can see, it printed out once, twice, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it printed out ten times, yes. The reason it printed out ten times, yes, is because our variable started out with a zero, right? It executed our uh, statements here first. It printed out yes once, then it uh, incremented our variable right by one. So now our variable right has a value of one. Then it uh, jumped on here. Then it, it uh, compared the variable red to 10. If it's less than 10, then the loop continues. Then it'll keep repeating until the variable is uh, greater than, once the variable is greater than 10, the loop will stop, and that's how that works. All right, so that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys like this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rasim from RossmoreTech.com, and thanks for watching.